Hey, what's up, people? I'm back with you again. Um, we left off with the install on the power wire. Dang, air compressor. And so, what we're getting ready to do now is mount and install the fuse. Okay, so I'm going away now. Okay, now you want to find a good mounting position for your fuse block which I found the best place for this vehicle, which is a uh, 05 Grand Marquise, to be right on top of the fuse box itself. Um, as you can see, it's the actual fuse box. But what I did was, I made sure that my holes here and there, let's see, there, there and there, once it closes, it closes up in these empty areas so that my screw in these empty areas here so that my screw can sit down in there once the box closes okay then I can still open it up and close it freely okay so this is the fuse fuse block and I'm going to make sure that they're lined it up nicely and I already have my power wire rent here okay come up to there and it's going to go in here and then the one to the battery is going to come from this side i'm going to run it down to the positive side post on here and that's one of the good things about having um on these batteries a top post and a side post especially when you're doing car audio because you don't really have to take off this and refabricate stuff and try to find hookups to screw in here and all that other kind of good madness you know you can just get your bolt and bolt it in here on the side post securely okay all right so um with the wire already in place i'm going to go ahead and secure this fuse block here and then i'll be right back okay all right, <clears throat> now let's see. Decides to focus. Say I have screw in here, have my screw in there, it's nice and secure, and I can still open up my fuse box and it's secure. Now, one thing if you're mounting something like this and you're not mounting it, say to the wheel well or however your engine bay is set up one thing that I did before I mounted this here was check my clearance from when I shut my hood so that way I know when I close it I'm not adding pressure down on this fuse box here so with um, let me see you grab this here so when I got the fuse in there and everything's clear like that I'm still good to go and it won't be and it won't be hitting the top of that like that okay now it's a good thing you, now you know like I say it's plenty of more ways that you can run your wires and do things of that nature and hooking this stuff up but it's good that you already have things sort of pre-placed like this you know Without, I mean, if you're going to be hooking it up and powering up same day, go ahead and take this negative cable off here. But since I'm kind of staging where I want everything, like I said, that's the only reason why I still left both of mine on in the first place. Because I'm not going to be throwing any power to it. And even if you are, have your fuse out of your fuse block, you know. Okay. Well... I think it's time that we lock everything up as far as installing the wire into here and installing this one, okay? And this is this side is going to be the side that goes to the positive terminal here on the battery, okay? So we're going to do that and then I'll be back with you.